So how do you actually make a transition between your scene directly in Blender? In my idea, the car falls in a portal from the past into the future, and at that moment the scene changed slightly. First of all, what you need is correct scene organization in the outliner. I have main character that stays unchanged, and I also have two scenes, called past and the future, each split into separate elements. Both scenes have common parts like mountains, environment, landscape, and so on. But overall, two scenes are completely different. To switch between them, I created two empty objects, each response uh, for its own scene. I printed all elements uh, of the past scene to one and all other elements to the future scene. This way, with the empty, uh, I can control everything in the scene one and with other, I can control everything in scene two. At the moment that I need to switch scenes in one frame, the past scenes simply scale down to zero, while the future scene scales up from the zero to its normal size. Uh, so with just a couple of frames, we switch between two scenes. But since I need the car to jump in the portal and second send to open smoothly through the circular mask, I added an uh, auxiliary object uh, and send it after effect using add-on called uh, Blender AA2. To do this, we need to select our camera and the object what we want to transfer. In general, we transfer just a point in the form of composition or shape, which can be modified. We select the camera and the object, uh, what we have in scene, then click Export Data to AI. If After Effect is open, the add-on automatically finds it and imports all necessary elements. We get a new composition with the same name, where our tracked element is already present. Then, inside the element, we can edit it, scale it or animate it with After Effect tools. After that, I rendered both scenes separately, like sequence, and uh, I have one render from uh, future, and the uh, car passes through the, our plane, uh, and the transition I make the blend using the mask. I added a camera shake directly in Blender, right near the plane. Both scenes contain the camera shake. How I make a portal effect with a chromatic distortion I already explained in the previous short. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.